So yeah, I've, I've, I was born and bred in Sunderland. Um, moved away a few years ago, but I still feel drawn back to this place. Uh, I love the pier. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic building, uh, and it served the people of Sunderland well for many years. When I heard that they'd had a tunnel underneath it, I thought that's amazing. It's brilliant. It's uh, it's somewhere I'd really like to go and, and view at some point. And the sooner they open it, for me, I think that the sooner the better. It'd be brilliant. Roker Pier and Lighthouse was built between 1885 and 1903, when Sunderland was a major British port. The New North Pier, or Roker Pier as it's now named, was constructed as part of work to create a new outer harbour, with two curving piers which would encompass the river mouth and the existing old harbour fabric, creating 125 acres of protected water for shipping. The whole complex took over 18 years to complete. It was opened on the 23rd of September 1903 and was hailed as a triumph of engineering. Since then, Roker Pier has become a much loved local landmark and a symbol of Sunderland's industrial and maritime prowess. Many people haven't been in the lighthouse and many of them don't know that there's a tunnel that runs through the length of the pier. In 2012, extensive restoration of the pier, tunnel and lighthouse began, funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund and Sunderland City Council. This included the restoration of the lighthouse interior, repair of the tunnel floor and drains, and the improvement of access. The construction of a new entrance to the tunnel will allow visitors access to the tunnel and lighthouse, and we intend to open to the public for the first time in the structure's history.